Hello there, mate. What's your name? Hello, mate. My name's Bruce. Hey, the name's Debbie, but that's Mrs. Edwards to you. Oh, it's Arthur. Sergio is what all my colleagues call me. Hello there, mate. What's your name? The name's Horse. Uh, the name's Rivers. Rivers Cuomo. How'd you get that name? Uh, well, we figured that that's just the the name that we should have. I mean, it's we all share the name in this pen. We're all horse here. Oh, my my father, Paul Cluckleton, gave me this. It was a part of his grandfather's lineage. Oh yeah, how'd you get that name? Well, you see, it all started back on my first combat deployment as a military war horse. And, uh, well, well okay, it was, it was Gallipoli, right? Oh uh, yeah, you know, my grandpa fought in so many world wars. One of them was, you know, the slaughterhouse, but, you know, he, he didn't make it out of that one. But, you know, the next one, there was, you know, it was as well as the Great Depression. That was pretty fire. Um... Oh yeah, my mum gave it to me, you know? Who else would I get that name from, mate? In Turkey. And then, after I got shot a little bit, kinda hurt, I decided to run away. <laughs> ah, a bit of a coward, whoopsie daisy. And I go into the ocean, and I start swimming, and I end up in Bolivia. Where my new proprietors name me Sergio. Now, I can't pronounce that name all the way. I'm kinda getting there. But I haven't seen them for a while, so I guess not many people call me that anymore. It's just Arthur. It's just Arthur. I don't know. I found it. Yeah, so what's your thoughts on the crafting table? What on God's green earth is a crafting table? I say you kids these days and your technologies is getting out of hand. Oh, I absolutely love it. It really brought um the climate down. I do like I like the earth being warm. It was really good. And but the only thing I don't like is you know the humanoids with swords. They 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 killed my son. But that's besides the point. I didn't like him anyways. Oh, oh, wow. We'll see. Now, some people don't agree with me on this. But I don't trust it. I don't trust anything with only six sides. Why would you limit yourself to being just a cube? It doesn't make sense to me. Well, you know, you can craft with it. Table. Kinda... Smells pretty good. Do you got one of those on you? I can, I can, I can smell it. Come here. Give me it. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. Oh, the crafting table. It's elusive. We've seen it a few times, but uh... The, the owner keeps moving it around all over the place. He's sort of the nomadic type, doesn't stick to one place, but he sticks us here. Doesn't come back for quite some time. But it's alright, I've got horse over here to keep me company, and horse right here, he keeps... Actually, I don't like horse. A crafting table can let you craft any block in the game. Oh! Well, that's, that's mighty interesting, isn't it? What's your thought on the crafting table? <laughs> What's your favourite biome? Oh, now, you might be surprised by this, but my favourite biome is the beach. Because it reminds me of the beaches of Normandy, which was my third military deployment as a beautiful war horse. <laughs> Well, the only biome I've ever really seen is the savanna here. I was born and raised in this pen about like two days ago, I believe. Uh, horse over here, he's the oldest one. He's seen the world, right, horse? Right? Oh, personally for me is the, uh, oh, what's it called? Hell, nether. Yeah, that's my favorite one. What? Is it, Why do you like the nether? <laughs> it's nice and warm. And there's things there that do... And I kind of like them. My favorite biome. You know, I really miss being at the bottom of the ocean. The water all around. The fish. I can just smell them now. I miss those smells. 
I go to the fortress and I lay down and I like to get sunburnt. It's like it smells like fried chicken, so it's nice. But yeah, this is all I've ever known, ever seen. Uh, but it's it's quite nice, I suppose. It's a little arid. And so, what do you think about the Ender Dragon? Oh, you know, he's he's pretty good. He's he's a bit he's a dodgy bloke, but you know, I think I think he's pretty all right. I haven't seen him personally, but I know my uh, cousin. Uh, I don't know his name. Can't remember my cousin's name. He's he's like a long lost father. Um, he just saw it once and. I don't know, it's kind of spat on him, and he got, like, a fire burn on his face, but overall, he's, he's an okay bloke. The Ender Dragon? Young man, I think you mean Mrs. Graham. I say your generation has no respect for your elders. Oh, you know, that, that Ender Dragon? Oh, you know, I just... The, the, the en- Ender Dragon, you say? <laughs> what do you think of the Ender Dragon? Oh, well, okay. Now... Some people are scared of it, but personally, I've seen this Ender Dragon fella doing their makeup in the mirror, and they don't seem like that much of a big deal. I think I could get down and have a right rip snorter with them, completely annihilate them in a fight. You know me, with my strong hooves and my horse demeanor. What do you think of the Ender Dragon? I. What's a dragon? You know, I've heard this before, like, horse over here, he was telling me, Oh, I saw a dragon over the mountain, and I went, What are, what are you talking about, horse? You know, you're speaking words of gibberish, and you seem like an idiot. Horse is an idiot, by the way. No, I'm talking about the final boss in the game. Yeah, that's Mrs. Graham. Her and I go way back. We're good friends, you know. We met back in high school all those years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the Ender Dragon. What do you think about it? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, the Ender Dragon. <laughs> what do you spend your day doing? Ah, uh, what do I, what do I spend my day? That's a good question. See, my doctor recently prescribed me some pills. Everyone's been telling me I've been forgetting things. Which, you know, kind of worrying. So it's kind of hard for me to imagine what my day's like. Mostly, I think I just stare at the wall. You know, the the beautiful diorite wall off behind me or to the side or wherever it is. I've lost my direction, I don't know. And uh, I just, I just kind of think about the good old days when I could still run the open fields without feeling the crick in my back. What do you spend your day doing? Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, well, in the, early in the morning, I like to, I like to, uh, give the old man that comes to my house for the television license 10 coins, uh, listen to radio, um, I like to do gardening, I like eating grass, that's my way of gardening, Yeah. um, and maybe eating out, uh, with some friends with, uh, as well as grass, um, but yeah, it's pretty simple being a chicken. Ooh, I do love a good cuppa in the morning. The lava pools work wonderfully for boiling hot water, you know. What do you spend your day doing? Well, uh, sometimes I move to that part of the pen and I eat some grass. Other times I move to that part of the pen and I eat some grass. Uh, there isn't much grass in here usually. I mean, a horse is a bit of a gluttonous beast when it comes to the the grass but i i get i get enough i'm not starving or anything what do you spend your day doing wow okay so i had this i had this farmer and he was working on my hoops just trimming at it right digging out all this gunk that had built up don't know how it got there i barely do anything in the day but nonetheless he's digging around and then poof it's fired oh jeez it hurts so I kick him, and I make a bit of a ruckus, and he, 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 he tranquilizes me, puts me to sleep, and then I wake up in a market, and then, you know, some days later I was bought with, by someone, oh, I can't remember their name, got around the place, trimmed some more hooves, became more horse-like in my demeanor again, you know, being real in line with my, with my in, inner self, just kind of, 
I don't know, living life, it's, it's tough as a horse. I say, that reminds me of the time my nephew almost flew into lava. He was being a silly young fellow with his friends and wasn't watching where he was going. Um, do you realize that you're a donkey? Vas? What do you spend your day doing? Sniffing. How, how do you have a television? You live in my coop. Uh, uh, watching the, the, the cows go left and right is kind of like television, and we think that's what TV is, so, you know, we kind of watch them go back and forward, back and forward. Like, Steven, well, we named the character Steven in our heads, and uh, he got taken to, like, the back, and we never saw him again, but, you know, I think that's how the story went. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Edwards. No worries, young chap. Well, um, thank you for the interview. Uh, no worries, mate. <laughs> thank you for the interview. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Th thank, thank you. Thank you. That that was, uh, I was saying thank you for my other horse pals, but uh, d just quick question for you before you go. Do you, Do they keep people in pens like this? Does that happen? Because I wonder if my the the owner here he he goes off. Does he go to a pen of people? Uh. Well, thank you for the interview.